What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with trending topics, you guys. So this is number three of trending topics. I want to—I think I might—I want to do more trending topics videos. Like if I have a sh short story that I don't want to put in hot topics, I feel like that's what I want to do. I feel like we'll do that going forward. Like, let me know if you guys would like that. Instead of have, having to wait to the end of the week with hot topics, let me know if you guys would like the trending topics. You know. You guys can send me small suggestions be like, hey, JB, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a big story and hot topics or not. You guys can DM me. Speaking of DM, shout out to Tracy. Tracy is the one that sent me this story about our girl, well, y'all's girl, not my girl. Y'all girl, Jen Shaw from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, you guys. So um, before we go ahead and talk about Jen, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed, then please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and share the video, you guys. And with that out of the way, let's talk about this trending topic that is Jen Shaw. All right, you guys. So you guys are familiar with Jen Shaw from The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. She is one of the breakout stars of Salt Lake City, despite how I feel about Jen. Jen and Mary were the two people that everyone talked about season one and in season two. Now you guys know around what February or March of last year we got the breaking news <clears throat> while filming was in progress for season two that Jen had got arrested. So Jen got arrested for wire fraud and conspiracy to com you know conspiracy to commit wire fraud and all that kind of stuff, you know, defrauding people, the elderly, you know, it's just a, it's, there's a special place, like Selena Johnson said, there's a special place in hell for a bitch, I'm not calling Jen a bitch, I'm just saying there's a special place in hell for anybody, there's a special place in hell for people who can take advantage of the elderly, children, anybody that's weak and defenseless, if you can take advantage of those people, there's just something wrong with you and there's a special place in hell for you so you guys you guys know there was a, a hulu special about jen i talked about it last season and i knew then with that hulu special they were you know people her, especially her aunt in that hulu special her aunt kept talking about how jen how good of a person jen is jen would never do this and jen this and jen that but the thing is this has been a let well not even a list no more this has been something that has happened since 2012 and the fbi had been following jen and i think the other thing that throws me for a loop with this situation is the fact that jen like that tweet is gonna haunt her forever that Teresa walked so that she could run <clears throat> Foresh <clears throat> foreshadowing huh because we know Teresa went to jail Teresa went to jail. Jen's going to jail. So yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. But she she set up, it was, I won't say Ponzi schemes, but it was like basically schemes where, well, one woman, I know that this black, I know it was a black woman, where during a pandemic, she wanted, you know, she lost her job and she had invested this money and, you know, people were looking into new avenues to make extra sources of income, right? So her company, who the people that she was dealing with, they would they would give these they would reach out to these people with leads and offer them so many products and whatnot, but ultimately there was no product. But these people would spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a product they were never going to receive. And it like I say, it's just it's disgusting when you literally think about it. And then all of season two which I didn't watch all of season two of Salt Lake City. I stopped watching Salt Lake City after the situation with Jenny. After that stuff came out with Jenny, I stopped watching Salt Lake City. I did review that final, the season finale when Jenny threw that drink at Mary. That was it for me. And I had said, you know, I had put on a community tab that since Salt Lake City, I was done with it. Despite the fact that I actually like Meredith, I was done with Salt Lake City. Like, I had no intentions of going back and reviewing season three of Salt Lake City. And you, you guys, if, if you guys watched me from season one to season two, you guys know that with Salt Lake City, I liked Mary because of her quirkiness. I didn't like Jen. 
I didn't like Lisa Barlow. I did not like, um, well, Lisa and Jen were the two people that I didn't like. I loved Meredith. You guys know I loved, loved, I say loved because that's past tense. I loved Heather and Whitney, but this past season with Salt Lake City, Heather and Whitney, I don't see it for those two at all anymore. I'm not a fan of Heather and Whitney, so I won't be defending them. It's going to be kind of hard. So I have made the decision with this situation. I just want to see how season three plays out of Salt Lake City. I want to see how season three plays out because I have, I'm going to review season three of Salt Lake City reluctantly. I don't want to, but because of this shit with Jen, I'm tuned in. So what happened is you guys know Bravo started filming season three early, right? They filmed season three right after season two reunion. After the reunion aired, they actually, during the era of the, actually, they were getting ready to start filming when that shit came out about, came out, came out about Jenny. They had just filmed the reunion. They had recently filmed the reunion and they were just waiting for the reunion to air. Contracts had not went out yet. But then after the reunion, they immediately jumped into filming because originally Jen's trial was supposed to be back in March. So you know Andy Cohen's ass. Andy wanted that footage for the show. Kind of like what he's doing. Kind of like what happened with Eric and Jane. They ramped up production for both season 12 and 11 of Beverly Hills because of Erica. So season season 3 of Salt Lake City. They started filming in March. Thinking that they were going to cover Jen's trial. Well, what happened is at that time. Jen's, chi- Jen's trial was then pushed out until july which is now which is her trial actually supposed to start next week a few days after my birthday so yeah jen's trial was supposed to start next week so what happened and you guys remember like i i i I may have got sidetracked but what i was saying was jen all season two was talking about how innocent she was how innocent she was and somebody even came at me on instagram because I posted on OMFG's reality about her being a crook. And they said allegedly. I didn't say allegedly. I watched that I watched that that um that Hulu documentary. Like, you can say allegedly all you want to, but everyone that she worked with, Stu Chains, he flipped. He took a plea deal. Everyone else has taken a plea deal with the exception of Jen. And for me, at one point, I felt like Jen might not have been taking it seriously. Especially when she told, asked her legal team if they could get Kim Kardashian. I'm like, this woman is not taking this seriously. Like, this is serious. This is a serious offense. Because I think what, before to, before yesterday, Jen was looking at 30, 30 to 50 years in prison behind this. So, yesterday, Jen went to court and she entered into a plea of guilty. She says she knew what she was doing. She knew it was wrong. And she knew she was taken from, like, I just don't, for me, I don't understand. I just, I don't understand that. I I mean, I have my ways, you know, I used to, I used to dupe my family, my mom and my grandmother out of money. But that was because I just want, you know, that was because I'm like, let me see, let me see who's going to give me more. Let me ask my big mama for this money. And then let me ask my mama and let's see who gives it to me. Kind of sort of thing. But never... and if they said they didn't have it, I let it be. I'm not a cold-hearted person. If you know that a person lives on a... And that's what bothers me. Because my grandmother lived on a fixed income. And there were plenty of times where when she had her landline, people would call the house and pretend like they're trying to... You know, they're talking about, oh, because she owned her home. People would try to do, you know, do all kind of crooked shit to get her to give them money. And we told her, no, don't, don't do that. Let us, let us, listen, you know, cause I, 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 there were quite a few times where people would call and try to just sell us, try to say, and I would be on the phone. I'm just listening. Like, okay. Like I'll play along with a, I'll play along with you for a certain amount of time. Then I'll get bored and then I'll click the phone down in your face. That's what happened a few times. So with Jen, she pled guilty, right? She faces up to about i think they said the mat i think it's like 11 to 14 years in prison damn that's a long time 
I wouldn't last 11 to 14 minutes in jail. And I've had my run-ins with the law. I've had quite a few run-ins with the law. You know, I've had a few warrants out for my arrest. I might have one currently. I might have one currently. I don't know. I, I, I drive, I, when I drive, I'll be safe. I, I might have one. I, I pray I don't. I haven't gotten a notification. I hadn't gotten a notice in the mail. So maybe they haven't issued a warrant for my arrest. I'm going to pray they haven't. I'm going to pray they haven't. Because I don't look good in prison orange. So she faces up to, like I said, 11 to 14 years in prison. They So what they did do was the conspiracy to commit wire fraud, they dropped that charge. So that's why, the, that's why it's less. Because like I said earlier, I believe originally she was looking at anywhere between 30 to 50 years in prison so we'll see what jen gets but jen is gonna get some prison time jen is gonna get some prison time damn coach shaw he i I, i'm wondering if he's an innocent person in this situation i don't know if he is or isn't but damn i would file for divorce not being funny or anything but i literally would file for divorce because she has to so she has to pay a restitution. That restitution is nine and a half million dollars. Does Jen Shaw have nine and a half million dollars? And does Coach Yeah, see, mm-mm. Cause see Coach Shaw might be legally liable since he is her husband. We would divorce. I would ask for a divorce. I seriously would. And on top of the nine and a half million dollars, she also has to pay six and a half million in forfeiture. I'm like, damn. Damn, girl. That's almost... Oh, shit. Does she have it? Like, damn. Six and a half million dollars and nine and a half million dollars. Can they do it? Well, I, I think the six and a half million, she had to pay that right up front. Damn. But wasn't but, but even season two, she was talking to her, once she talking to her mother about the league girl. You spent all that money on a legal team, and then you took a plea deal. So you're gonna be out a lot of so. You out six and a half million dollars, then you add another nine and a half million. Then I think that the lawyers were like, what two million? Are you looking at somewhere up close to 20, 20 million dollars? Does Jen is Jen worth twenty million? Because you're looking at damn. I mean, the lawyers' fees. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm. Jeez. I don't feel bad for her. I really don't. But hey, so sentencing, that's going to be November the 28th. So she'll get to spend Thanksgiving with her family. That'll be the last Thanksgiving she spends with them for a long time. Was it worth it, Jen? And that's what I was going to say. That's what I was saying earlier. I, I Again, I get sidetracked, you guys. Like, was it worth it to do? First of all, was it worth it to defraud these people? And then, was it worth it? I think it's the narcissism. I think certain people are just so narcissistic that they want to be on television. They want to be famous despite anything that's, that any any illegalities that are going on in their life. Like, I've said it plenty of times. I would never join a reality show, especially if I have something in my past, like what I've defrauded if i didn't pay my taxes if i did if i've you know stolen money from people just anything that could lock me up for x amount of years i wouldn't join a reality show i really wouldn't i i truly wouldn't now as far as like if i got on a reality show and i want not paid my taxes that's easy Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. But this situation here ain't a good look. Well, Jen, 
hopefully that black girl persona that you portray on Salt Lake City helps you when you end the clinker. But hey, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Oh, also, they are still currently filming season three of Salt Lake City, which I thought that filming had wrapped up because you guys do know that Ultimate Girl Strip season three, they're going to Thailand. Potomac just wrapped filming. And you guys know the cast members for season three of Ultimate Girls Trip is Candace and Giselle from Potomac, Leah McSweeney, and Tinsley Mortimer from New York City. I'm really excited to see Tinsley again. I love Tinsley. Then you got Alexia and Marisol from Miami. Season This last season of Miami, Marisol annoyed my spirit. So we'll see how she is on Girls Trip and we'll see how she's on his next season of Miami. And then you also have Heather and Whitney Bad Weather from Salt Lake City on season three of Ultimate Girls Trip. And they're going to Thailand. But yeah, we'll be watching season three of Salt Lake City and I'll be back reviewing it after season three. Throwing it back to the wolves. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications, you guys. Share the video. And until the next time, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, you guys. Wear a mask. Socially distance. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.